Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Uh, tonight I'm going to be reviewing, there's not much of it left because to be fair, last night I had downed it, but uh, Krabby's Mold Ginger Wine. So basically, Krabby's Ginger Wine mixed with basically a mold wine. And uh, I've had it before so I know exactly what's in it, you know. Uh, you can serve it hot, uh, warm or cold. Uh, I'll have it cold. So, let's have a look at it. Retailed for four ninety nine from Lidl uh, a few days ago. And there you go. Uh, not much left. Sunday is my Achilles heel night where I struggle to sleep. It's the four to going back into work, you know. I'm sure I'm not the only one. So it says it John Cubby's distinctive... Elephant trademark stems from the Scots merchant adventurers who pioneered trade with countries in the Orient, from which we still buy the gin spices and ginger for Krabby's original mulled ginger wine. Enjoyed around the world, mulled wine is often drunk during winter and especially around Christmas. Our blend of finest quality ruby British wine coupled with natural ginger, spices and citrus fruits result in a truly memorable drink. I've said it better myself really. Uh, 12% the um, strength. So normal ginger wine is 12% anyway so it's no weaker than the normal ginger wine. Um, Krabby's ginger wine usually comes green. It's like a greeny colour. It's dead weird. Uh, but nice. Uh, so obviously they made a ruby version of their wine and then they've added the uh, mould um, flavourings. So there you go. It's got a nice colour to it. And uh, straight away ginger mixed in with all those mulled spices you know nutmegs cloves cinnamon all that sort of thing Ooh. it's very very moorish if you don't like the ginger's not overpowering in this let's get that right for starters it's not overpowering like you would in the ginger wine which is obviously a ginger wine so the spices do um take away from the ginger but they complement each other something fantastic I've had the standard mulled wines and uh, also I mean you can put you can buy the kits and put mulled wine kit in a red wine um, whether you'd want to you know get a, a like a Barola and stick some mulled wine spices and well I don't know if I would want to do that go that far but you know you could do if you really wanted to. You know, have a posh uh, mulled wine. Oh, lovely taste. Lovely warmth uh, going down. I have had mulled wine warm before. Um, not the Krabby's one, obviously, but uh, a different one. And it was uh, very... It's nice. I mean, I prefer cool wine, to be honest. But... Uh, so it's mould, there we go, mould wine. Mould ginger wine, yeah, mould wine. So, let's see if we can get any... Yeah, Krabby's mould wine is a blend of the finest British ruby wine and Krabby's ginger wine, all infused with ginger, cinnamon, cloves and citrus fruits. Ideally served warm in a tall glass and garnished with sticks of cinnamon and citrus peel to create that perfect winter warmer. Um, let's see if I can get any... Reviews new. I'll put review in just to see if it actually comes up with anything. Reviews, here we go. So, on Amazon.co.uk, not really a usual place for reviews for me anyway. Um, I'm getting down to 
Oh, for crying out loud. Uh huh. And sadly, it's okay, but not the best mulled wine I've had, although it is acceptable. Must admit, I was slightly disappointed of it, but it hasn't gone to waste. <laughs> yeah. And then somebody else, great, a good mulled ginger wine, along with their green ginger wine and alcoholic ginger beer. Good product. Not first purchase and won't be last. Uh, Krabby's is one of those, once you drink it, you'll be hooked type of drinks. And I have long enjoyed it. I tend to have just a small amount at a time. Usually in the evening. So, the reviews are, are generally positive. Obviously, uh, if you're a pure ginger wine fan, you might not like the spices. You know, same as if you're a mulled wine fan, you may not like the ginger. But it's always worth trying to. I mean, a five is a five. It's not going to break the bank. Uh, for me, love it. Lovely, refreshing taste to it. Um, like I've said, it's very Moorish. You know, you could soon neck a bottle. And I did last night. I had two or three glasses. And I'll be honest with you, the glasses, straight down. It was like drinking water, you know. Um, uh, no wonder I woke up a bit, feeling a bit rough this morning. Uh, teeny bit rough. Um, so, out of five. Um... very difficult one to review actually because you know it's, you're classing it against other wines and it's a very different wine but I'll give it a 4.3 out of 5 I, I really do like it uh, it might be more of a personal preference than you know uh, a mass thing but all reviewers are, are going by their perfect personal preference anyway you can only say it as it is to you know yourself um, I don't know, you know, we've all got our own taste buds and that's where reviews differ. So, for Christmas I'm hoping to get some Stone's Special Reserve Ginger Wine. It's £7.50 a bottle, 18% it is, so it's, you know, it's good stuff. And uh, it is the best ginger wine on the market. I will definitely be reviewing that. But, for today, thank you Krabbies, very nice. Bring back Krabby's Mac and Krabby's Black Wire at it. Right, thanks for watching. A bit shorter, but uh, I feel rough as hell, so I'll go better. See you soon.